Welcome, Welcome back. back. Hey, who, who got a that? He did. He did. I should have just gave it to him. I should have just gave it to him. No, yeah. welcome back, guys, to another Whiskey and Insurance podcast. Yeah. You probably see it may look a little different. Yeah, oh, it yeah. may look got, a little different. Got a little different. new cans back yeah. here. It may sound a little different. Yeah. Got a little bit of new mics. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. We're leveling up a little bit. <laughs> Moving on up. Thank you, guys. I will <laughs> say it does sound way mm-hmm. more crisp. Yeah, it does, man. The mic and the well, and, and it's and just everything. the boom arm. You know, we can just move Ooh. it. Yeah. You fancy, you fancy. Hey. Come on, you fancy. Yeah. <laughs> well, we want to shout out our sponsor, Apollo. I mean, absolutely, yes, they have definitely done a lot for us. So, uh, appreciate thank you, you. absolutely. <clears throat> but. We got an interesting one today. Oh, man. You know, last night I was like, hey, Luke, we are shooting um, at 6 a.m. And we don't have a <laughs> bottle. And there is no liquor store that's going to be open at 5. So, <laughs> Wait a minute. This has been a long time since we shot this early. Yes. Mm-hmm. We haven't because shot this early yeah, in a long it's time. It's been probably, like, what, episode two 10 months. or something yeah, like yeah. that? Two months, three months. Like that. Yeah. Like, since the last time we've done that? Yeah. This kind of like to it. be a good one. Yeah, it's going to be a good one, baby. <laughs> we've been doing all, we've been, we switched it. We went early. Now, we, then we went to late night. Now yeah. we're back to early. Yeah, so, man. I'm maybe, excited. maybe we can come consistent to like, you know, mid afternoon yeah. at some point. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but no, this is a cool bottle. I've actually had this. Um, okay. But you guys haven't. No, we have excited. Not. Let's uh, do it. But Luke, yeah. take it away. Yeah. So we got a nice little bottle here. Um, it's kind of cool. It's got a little key out here. It's called Blade and Bow. Mm. Uh, so hopefully the camera will be able to pull that up. But yeah. you see that? Little see the key? That key's okay. jingling out there. But uh, yeah, no. So it's it's got a really neat bottle on it. Uh, one, I, I was looking at this. I was looking, going through a different aisle. trying to So you know how it is when you go through. You're trying to find which one has a decent story. Yeah. But this one, um, it, it's pretty, pretty neat. It was the iconic Stitzel and Weller distillery in Louisville, Kentucky. Nice. Mm. This original distillery closed its doors in 1992. Mm. Um, but then they reopened the facility in 2014 and started making whiskey again. So that was kind of cool. Mm. The blade and bow name represents, uh, two parts of a skeleton key, the blade shaft and the ornate bow, uh, Diageo, which is the, uh, facility Diageo's who's reopened the distillery mm. Diageo states that the blade and bow brand is a tribute to the five keys that once hung on the door of the Stitzel and Weller distillery that's cool. that's pretty cool so pretty cool. it stands for the five steps of making bourbon grains yeast fermentation distillation and aging Oh, wow. So, see, I like, I like that. that. So they've got kind of cool little <laughs> thing there with the key. Uh, yeah. I like the five keys to to making whiskey or bourbon. Yeah. So uh, I I just really, really like the the the, the concept, the, the yeah, concept of that. Yeah. Kind of putting that behind the bottle. Yeah. So and it's a neat bottle, you know, it's it kind of cool, kind of unique. Well, I we kind of discussed that this was gonna be a tough one to open. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that probably started a little early. <laughs> But um, uh, you know it's it's pretty neat from that. But it's a 22 year. I think does it say how many years it's aged on there? Because this is saying a 22 year aged it aging does, process. It does not. Mm-hmm. Okay, but they have a 22 year aging process, which is neat on it. And um, so yeah, they use a, a very unique system there at the mm-hmm. distillery and whatnot. So I don't know if you'll be able it to just, get that puppy opened. But yeah, it will come open. It's easy now. It just said it's aged and aged and charred in American white oak. Yep. Barrels. Yep. Mm-hmm. So they do the white oak barrels, which nice. obviously is going to give a bit a pretty big oaky flavor. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, the Stitzel and Weller is mingled with other young. So the Stitzel and Weller is known for older bourbon, mm-hmm. and then they mingle it with other younger whiskeys as well. Uh, no barrel that they use is ever fully drained. Oh wow! Nice. Ensuring the oldest bourbon is always present. That's cool. I like that. That's, That's unique. Cool. That is unique. So. Hence why I think they do, unlike, uh, you know, unlike a lot of other things, is they have 22 years of an aging process right. part of right. the whiskey. So Dope. let's crack that bottle Come open. Come on, maybe. man. It should have been open. Come on. Well, yeah. Oh, There we go. Kind of nice. The, okay. I like <coughs> what they did there so you don't lose oh, the key. Yeah. Yeah. That is kind of neat. Let's pour it up. Yeah, pour you know it up. don't pour mine first. Come on now. It feels good. Oh, there we go. I like that. <laughs> So, I've got the nose and I've got the palate. Okay. 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 So I'll be curious what you guys can uh, 
Hey, I want you to I want you to remember it's six it's six AM in the morning, all right? Dude, you have a lot of ice in there. I just want him they to They call it Solera aging. I'll read this while you're kind of pouring this up. Solera yeah. aging is a rarity in the bourbon world. Few distilleries actually use this method due to the intensive labor involved in producing the end product. Uh, additionally, Blade and Bow utilizes the original Stitzel and Weller distillate, which I was telling you about. Mm. Uh, but that Solera process, so that they call it Solera, S-O-L-E-R-A. Uh, makes all the more unique. So th- that was kind of where they don't ever let the bottom of the barrel that I was just ta- touching yep. on there. So Fire. they they did say it's very unique because it takes a, it's labor intensive. So not every whiskey distillery is using this exact process. So I'm kind of excited to see what this yeah. looks like and tastes like. All right, <clears throat> let's whoa. get it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Easy. You I'm gotta, sorry, you gotta <laughs> do the nose. <laughs> I got excited. Vanilla. Oh yeah, yeah, it's vanilla. Smell vanilla, you can smell Hell, that. Heavy vanilla. You better hit that boy. Heavy yeah, vanilla, boy. Boom. <laughs> That's one for you. you got one. Yeah, you they, you could smell that. Yeah, I honestly get a really big spice though. Mm. Yep, there, I really want to taste it. There's there's a there's cinnamon. a little grain spice. Oh wow! Just, so you, you gotta get you gotta hit it. That's another one. <laughs> two hey, you are two for now. two. So. so when you say spice, I I gotta give this to you because you're talking about a spice. I know that a lot of the different ones can have different spices, but I I feel like I gotta give this to you. It means pepper. Mm-hmm. They have white mm-hmm. pepper in this, okay. so I gotta you I gotta give that pepper. one to. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I need to get a buzz. <laughs> okay, uh, what about cherry? Uh no. No. <laughs> we should have a little loser. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do that. We'll do that. Oh, man. None. No, that's funny. Okay. But How many more do we got? Um, well, what's crazy is you guys have said, or at least you have, oh, vanilla, wow. white pepper, the grain spice <laughs> is all on the taste. You actually haven't given me any of the, no. the this airy. Nose starts with the <laughs> nose. So um, you've given me the palate. But not the nose. Oh my gosh! I mean it. Uh, caramel? Nope. It's caramel. But, tomato, tomato. <laughs> but uh, we're we're close. Working. Butterscotch? Nope. We're, what we're the close. Heck? Come on now. What's in everything else? Honey, honey. Hey. 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 All right. There's there's three more. Okay. Three more on the nose. Give us a category. Um, mm. think I'm so think farm ground. Okay. Uh, cows. No. Nope. Corn. It, nope. We're getting close. What What else is on? Is it farm a fruit ground? or is it? What What are they What do they got in in the prairie lands? What are they always bailing? Hey. Hey. Boom. Hey. Is it- <laughs> we said it at the same time. <laughs> we- <laughs> and then there's two more. Um. Well, we already kind of touched on this because you mm. read it off the bottle. Light oak. So we won't give them that. Yeah. Don't give us that. But there's one more on the. No- Excuse me, on the nose. It's a fruit. And Ooh. it is a stone, stone fruit. fruit. Uh, <laughs> um, peach. Peaches. Boom. Give it to <laughs> our you <laughs> This is not fair. <laughs> How the hell did you get peach? <laughs> we because, never because get we already peach, said bro. cherry. Yeah. We already said cherry and peaches stone fruit. And oh, wow. that was peachy. Yeah, yeah. I gotta I Whatever. gotta say, this is exciting. I'm excited. Right. And every bottle, we were talking about this before the episode. Every yeah. bottle that we have it that I have done, I've never liked. <laughs> yeah. so, so you I hope you like this because I so, love it. <laughs> based off everything that the nose and palate that we've already answered, so we don't have to give anything on the palate because we've already done that. Yeah. Um I'm kind of excited to see what it tastes like. Let's so, do it. Let's yeah. do it. You let's got do it? it. Yeah. Whiskey for the souls, insurance, insurance for, for the wallets. wallets. What's in the bottle? <laughs> Boom. Love it. Yes. Oh man. That sounds that's good. good. Do you that like is it? good. That's please, not please bad. Don't like it. Yeah. I right. don't know. <laughs> Let it sit a little. Uh, Let it sit a little. It might, a little. It might, might grow on me here. So let's see. I will say it is 6 a.m. So. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Gosh. But the pepper is definitely there. Yeah. And that's what I noticed when I tried it. I tried it with my brother in North Carolina. Mm. And this is one of his fav- more favorite bottles, I guess you could say. But you can yeah. definitely taste it. It's it's definitely sweet and spice. Yeah. Like yes. you can definitely get yeah. that on the palate. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Mm. <laughs> it, I, I think it makes it easy to sip on. Absolutely. It's not bad. Absolutely. It's, a, not, it's not a bad sipper. Yeah. Um, it's not a bad sipper. Uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to figure out, though, like... You know when we did Remus? Mm -hmm. I really liked Remus. How do you keep talking about that? That feeling um, that you got? The other feeling I also like, that I've got it sitting on my my desk or kind of in my, uh, th the representative. That one was good. Um, oh, and then strong. Yeah, I, but I liked it. it but then was. the other one that I love is that butterscotch and it, it, that mm. we did on the very first episode with Horse yeah. Soldier. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that it, bottle, we're going to buy a new bottle before we drink that bottle. Cause that yeah. bottle's signed, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But no, I I've been I telling just, you, yeah. I've been telling you, we're it's we're gonna right. have to yeah, get the spices. The the spices. It's kind time of for a me lot. to wake up. Wow. Gosh. <laughs> I told he you. Had an alarm on there. It's been a minute. It's uh, been so. a minute. No, we but. need to get another George Remus bottle, but we're tr we need to get the reserve. Mm. Mm. Got it. It's Big the bottle. next tier. It's 180 bucks. I got a I got an exciting one that I'm going to bring on here in the next couple months. I've, uh -oh. already, I've already found it. So uh -oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, it's one of the one of the ones I've wanted to to bring on for a while. But, yeah, long time. Well, what it tastes like? What it tastes like? Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's, let's rate it. Let's rating. You want me to rate it? Yeah, yeah you go it. first. So, ooh, uh, value. Uh, okay. forty-five dollar bottle. Okay, that's so, not bad. Forty-five no, fifty dollar bottle. Um, I think it's forty-nine ninety-nine. That's not Sorry. bad. I'm gonna give it a seven nine. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. that's not bad. You know, I think it's very solid bottle, but I don't think it's a B bottle. Okay. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm right there with you. I'm gonna give it a seven five. Yeah, seven five. I like it. Like Luke said earlier, it's a good sipper. Yeah, yeah. Um, Definitely better. Yeah, yeah. What I, were you? It's, it's seven nine. That. Seven nine. I'm seven, going nine. seven. Seven. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. It's. I will say I like this one way better than the other ones that I brought. Didn't, any of the other ones? That you yeah. It, it's always those <laughs> nuts, like the nut flavor. Yeah, yeah, it always yeah, yeah, got yeah. me. Yep. This one doesn't have any of that, so yeah. I, you know it's it's good. Luckily. It's a good bottle. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Yeah. Boom. Well, I like it. Yeah. Go for it. No, <laughs> I liked it. I liked the design. It went down smooth. It's just not like up there. We've That's had an better. average of seven better. five. Yep. Yeah. Seven, seven not, five. Not, not, a bad, not a bad bottle. If you're looking for a value add, yep. it's a value add whiskey right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. With Absolutely. the cool thing, I, I really say I like the, the I think the reason why I'm even in a, in the sevens is because of the five keys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to That's make cool. whiskey slash yeah. bourbon. So I've... Yeah. I got to give it to him. The so. concept is pretty. It's pretty. So cool. if you want to make your own whiskey or bourbon, yeah, you know, now you know how. All <laughs> right. Well, let's well, toast it up one more time yeah. before we get into this business. Ready? Whis whiskey, whiskey for, for the, the souls. souls insurance, insurance for the wallets. Mm. Let's let's do a little uh, a little break. A little break. Let's yes. shout out to our sponsor, BM Allies, for yes. the awesome thank you uh, leather glasses. glasses that we've got. And then let's also shout out to Apollo. Mark, will yes. you come on in here? Mark, come on. Come yeah. on, walk, walk, walk. I actually almost got up. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank Appreciate you. it. We want to shout out our sponsor, Apollo Insurance Group. They are one of the largest health insurance brokerages out of the Midwest. They specialize in health, life, dental, vision, a lot of the things you need in regards to insurance they have. So they typically save their clients a lot of money in regards to their premium. So if you don't have someone that's helping you or aiding you through this process or this chaotic world of health insurance, please reach out to them. They fight for you, they specialize in what they do, and they're great at their job. Welcome back. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to our sponsor. Yeah, guys. Truly baby, appreciate we are it. back. Um, well, we got some we got some heat today. Yeah. We got yeah. some heat today. Yeah. Early this morning heat. Early, early morning it heat. What are we talking this about today? We are going to talk about the negative aspects, right? Uh -huh. How of the business, right? Uh -huh. How to control those and how okay. to make sure that you are not negatively impacting your business okay so mark are you uh, as are you an agent me, go ahead uh no no go ahead go ahead i was what gonna say question? so mark are you telling me these things are gonna happen yeah i mean absolutely. some some of these things are yeah. gonna happen yeah. absolutely yeah. Yeah. we're just trying to give you tools and hints to avoid them the best way that you can but it's it's gonna happen right um but we just want to give you tools and hints to try to try to uh derail them as best as you can for sure um, because for sure. you know it's business you're yeah. gonna have mistakes and things are just gonna happen. That's yeah. just what it is. So we're we talking about uh insurance agents in general, we're we talking about a whole. Yeah, I think just as a whole entity in yeah. business and specifically to our to our industry, insurance. Yeah. Absolutely. For sure. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that you can do as 
an individual agent, mm-hmm. right? To make sure that your business is conducted the right way, yeah. right? To make sure you have longevity yeah. mm-hmm. in the business. Uh, I think is the key word. I think a big thing, I'll, I'll, I'll kick it off. You mm-hmm. don't mind. Go ahead. I think, uh, I think a big thing that a lot of people struggle with is discipline. Ooh, um, it's pretty good. Because especially in this business, I mean, we all know it takes a while. Yeah. yeah. It's not, it's not a get rich quick. Mm-hmm. That's for mm-hmm. sure. Um, and you got to have a lot of discipline. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think, honestly, that's why we hire a lot of athletes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Because that shows that they know how to discipline themselves, you know? Sure. Mm-hmm. Being an athlete, you grow up your entire life being humbled very quickly. Yeah. Um, and that's one of the things here. When you pick up that phone, people who have never cold called before, I implore you to try it <laughs> because it will it will sit you back real quick. Yeah. And you will be very humbled. Uh, yeah. it's one of those things where you can't you can't think too much into it. Yeah. People are gonna say what they're gonna say. You never know what kind of day that people are having on the other end. Yeah. You know? Um, and I've said it before, but the best thing you can say with people that cuss you out or tell you to never call again and, you know, take them off the list is just, Hey, have a good day or yeah, hope your day sure. gets better, you yeah. know? Um, but yeah, I think discipline, discipline is one of those things is you really have to keep a hard mindset on that. You have yeah. to make sure that you are constantly mm. thinking about that yeah. because you can get very complacent in this job. And I want to take it one step further. And I know you got something, Luke. I'm going to take it mm-hmm. one step further. Discipline. I'm going to break that down. Mm-hmm. When you say discipline, well, I think of, especially in uh, in regards to our industry, discipline means, you know, <clears throat> how is your day-to-day structure, right? Yeah. If you have appointments, make sure you have them down. Yep. Make sure you have them written down. Make, it, make sure that... Uh, you know you're showing up on time. Yep. Don't be late. Yep. Right. Uh, if you're if you're if you're on time, you're late. Yep. Right. You should always be five, ten, fifteen minutes early. Um, when you show up to somewhere that you have to be, uh, things like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Make yeah. sure that these things are crucial to you because it can neg- negatively impact you as an agent. Absolutely. Uh, when you don't, another thing. Uh, when you don't keep your word. Right. Mm-hmm. When you say you're going to do something and you don't do it, even if it's a small thing, such as sending an email. Hey, Bob, I'm going to shoot you that email over in about oh, 10 minutes. I can't yeah. tell you how many times we get <laughs> a, a customer. And yeah. it's, I shouldn't say how many times but yeah. it'll happen because yeah. we have so many thousands of clients. Yes. But an agent, especially during quarter four, when mm-hmm. it's busy, I didn't mean to cut you off. Mm-hmm. But I just was mm-hmm. like, man, like that happens all the time just from a. A natural standpoint because we're yeah. working 70 hour work weeks yeah. Yeah. and we are still maybe they talk to him at 10 a.m but we've gone on the phone of back to back to back to back and they've told him they'll get an email that night but yeah. that night may not be till 8 9 10 11 o'clock yep and they'll send and at like six o'clock hey where's my email at i haven't yeah. got an email i spoke with the agent didn't get one yet and yeah. it, it you know they just haven't been able or to, they call in yeah they haven't been able to get it to him yet because literally we've been back to back to yeah. back yeah that happens a lot in yeah. quarter four yeah. because they want that email right then and there. Yeah, yeah. And I promise you, so. if we could, we would. Yeah, <laughs> we are literally just back to back to back. But yeah, um, yeah I was. <clears throat> you know, you guys are kind of taking it from uh, the agent perspective, yeah, and I and, it up. and I still think that these apply to agents. But when I think of hard challenges within the industry, and you guys, we've hit on a lot of the different things of how it's. Uh, takes a while you got to build up your book of business you got to do all these things but I want to took I want to take a look at it from rising healthcare costs mm. okay looking at the deductibles that have continued to increase and max out of pockets that increase along with your premium mm. uh looking at claims and claim denials mm. and what every single carrier wants to do and completely push off yep. paying claims and I don't care if you've got blue cross blue shield if you've got a health share, you got Medica, you've got whatever you want, Anthem. I don't Doesn't care. Matter. They they all have claim issues. Oh. So I look at the health insurance specific sector as an insurance agent. All those things are challenges. And how can you continue to be a voice or uh, a difference a differentiator or a calming voice for your consumer or client? Mm. Uh, I, you got to help fix those two things. Yeah. If you can't fix those two things, then somebody else will. Right. Yeah. Um. So I that's kind of my approach to it. So and why I say it's negative 
is because that's the reality of it of what's yeah. happening. Yeah. And the insurance agent or independent agents that are out there, you've got to deal with that. Yeah. And that could beat you down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I just had one of my clients, um, they <laughs> that had a horrible thing happen. They're doing great right now. Uh, but the month of the very end of the year of 2023 and going into 2024 was very rough. Mm-hmm. Um, had, had ended up going to the hospital, uh, for RSV. Um, wow. so they were struggling with breathing. Uh, they would go take her in resting heart rate was 186 beats per minute. Mm, uh, geez. they were like, man, we've got to calm you down, Let's mm-hmm. put you on a ventilator, put you on a ventilator. Ventilator wasn't working. She couldn't get her resting heart rate down. So they're like, We've got to, and she was struggling to get oxygen. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need to do a medically induced coma. So they take her, put her in a medically induced coma. She's medically induced coma for eight or nine days. The first few days of those medically induced coma, not good. Mm-hmm. It was not looking good at all. She fought through a lot of prayers. This is one of my you know, family friends. Uh, fought through a lot of this different stuff. But even that alone, you know, that's going to be a, a big claim to work through. For sure. For and sure. I don't care what I don't care what carrier yeah. she got. It, they're gonna want to deny paying. I, I shouldn't say deny paying, right, right, right. but they're gonna want to push off because it's, it's of every carrier will do it. They're gonna they don't want to pay that right it's away. No, deal. it's yeah. it's a liability. Yeah. Let's push this liability down the road a little bit longer right. before we gotta actually pay for it. Right. Yeah. So I gotta make sure to I already know ahead of time before that's even happened because I mean she just got out of the hospital last week. Mm. Yeah. Uh, before it's even happened. I have to help uh, spur that along. I've already been in communication with the carrier. I've already been in communication with the hospital. Right. Already, because I know in advance, I've been doing this for a while, this is what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And they're going to want to push those things off. So that's a negative thing. So how yep, do you, right. as an insurance agent, how do you handle that as a um, a, a natural occurrence? Because yeah. people use yeah. health insurance. Yep. Yeah. You know, life insurance, if somebody uses it, they're dying or mm-hmm. they're dead. It's over. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately. <clears throat> yes. Health I'd... insurance, you got to use it every single day. <laughs> yeah, yeah why you're here. And it's not perfect. Let me tell you. I still, no. I tell people that every day. Yep. And we do at Apollo. We tell people there is mm-hmm. no perfect plan. Mm-hmm. If I had a perfect plan, we'd have all of America signed up. <laughs> yep. Um. So we got to take your healthcare needs and customize a plan that fits your needs, that how you use healthcare. Yeah. So. I, that's kind of where I would go yeah, with it. I like that. And I think the the biggest point, the takeaway that I got from that is that, yes, you will have cases and situations that come up like that. But again, going back to it's the agent's response. So, Luke, yeah. you're responsible. You're on top mm-hmm. of it. You mm-hmm. have to be. Mm-hmm. right. If you oh, weren't, yeah. guess what? That's going to negatively impact True. you and your business. For sure. Uh, what if she called you and you're not picking up the phone? Oh, what yeah. if she called you and you're not you know, returning calls or doing anything like that. The reason why you were able to, you know, uh, make sure that that didn't negatively impact you is because you were on it before Mm -hmm. she even got induced, you know, uh, and did all of that. Yeah. Yeah. You you took priority. You made our priority. I think uh, I like what you said. And I think to kind of answer what you said, like how to not make that a negative thing, right? Um, I think it all goes back to your original report call. Mm. Um, with them mm-hmm. like just making sure they understand when they use the plan or something like this happens they need to contact you yeah like that's why you are here that's why we are brokers yeah. yeah you know like we literally have a claims team here like we fight yeah. for you we help you you know what i mean and, like, and i'm glad that i had the conversation with both husband and wife right yeah because she was in medically induced coma she, she couldn't, couldn't have, have she couldn't have talked to me even right. if she wanted to yeah right, at the time yeah um, so I, I spoke with her husband and, you know, he, he, he did a really good job of keeping composure throughout For this sure. whole time. Um, I know I probably would be a freak down mess. mess. Yeah. Um, so shout out to, you know who you are. Shout yeah. out to you for helping keep composure and Absolutely. being a rock there. Um, yeah. we'll be I'm praying sure, for you. Yeah. We've been praying for the recovery, been praying yep. for you guys. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just think, I think a lot of those things as an insurance agent, just like you said, you let mm. that fester, you don't answer your phone. Yep. Uh, that first claim form, cause they always come in first claim doc comes in and it just shows insurance provided or covered zero. Cause they yeah. always do that initially until out. you, you, you know, you freak out, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, when that, that they haven't got that letter, but I know that letter will come, even though they are covering it, yeah. I know that they're going to cover it. Yeah. But at, at the end of the day, uh, that first form is going to say insurance zero. Yep. 
and you're gonna be like, what the heck? Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So it's what do you like, mean? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's like you gotta you gotta prepare for that. And yeah. as insurance agents, that can knock you down. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And that can that if you're not ready or prepared to handle that yeah. ahead of time. Yeah, and that's a go ahead. No, 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 go. I was gonna say as a consumer though, on the vice versa of that as well. Like mm-hmm. you have to understand, like whenever you go into the hospital, you're talking to a receptionist. Mm-hmm. Okay. They don't know everything about the product. Yes, mm-hmm. they know how to bill stuff sometimes. <laughs> but if it, I promise you, if it doesn't say Blue Cross on the front of the card, they don't know what it yeah. is. And it's okay. nothing against receptionists no. or nothing against billing for facilities, providers, hospitals. Nothing. The problem is since 2010, we've had so <sighs> much regulatory change. Yep. That yep. was another one of my things I had on here for yep. negatives. Yeah. Regulatory change in a constant, volatile, changing, mar- ever so market in health insurance it makes it really hard for independent Very. agents to keep up, let alone extremely hard for hospitals. the hospitals, providers, and doctor offices yep. to keep up because yep. all they've had are changes every single year. Mm-hmm. So when they see a new carrier or or somebody come new to market, the la- the first thing they do is, no, we don't take this. Even though they they do, they are in network, but the, well, that's one of their first comments is, ah, oh, we don't take this. We don't accept this insurance. Well, yes, you do. Right. It's in, you're in network with it, and you have to have that conversation. But the general consumer, if I wasn't in health insurance, I'd be like, what yeah. do you mean you don't take this? My exactly. broker told me it, it, it's exactly. take, that you take it. Yeah. Now I'm mad at my broker who sold me the plan. Yeah. Right. Um, and it's, it's, not the, it's not that they're inadequate. They just have faced so much change mm-hmm. that it's hard for them to keep up with it every single year. For sure. Um, so, yeah, I, w- I would add that is can you as an independent broker, or agent, health insurance, you're in this, can you help keep up with the regulatory change? Yeah. yeah. Can you help make sure that you're staying in front of that with your clients so you that when to. they do go to the provider office, because once again, health insurance is the most widely insurance that somebody goes and buys. They don't yeah. use their car insurance very rarely. Not everybody's getting in an accident every month. They don't they don't use their life insurance because yep. then that means you would be dying every single year. And they, you know, yeah. and or, or life insurance. I don't know if I said health, yeah. but and then yeah. they use your health insurance the most. Yep. Home insurance, same thing. It's, you know, you don't ha- your house doesn't burn down every month. <laughs> yeah. Health insurance, you use it every single month for most people, or at least every year. Yeah, at least every at year. least. So, um, you know, you got to be prepared for that for sure. Yeah, I don't think, get knocked down. Right, exactly. You got the negative gremlins on your shoulder. Yeah, every, yeah. I, I I talk about this all the time when you're in in the industry or you work at Apollo. The biggest thing that I want to help teach or that we help teach at Apollo is, um, don't let that negative mindset creep in. Yeah, you got to stay positive. Feed yourself with positivity. And I had a, a, a life coach for a period of time that we brought in. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out, Marilyn. Right. You know who you are. <laughs> uh, but we had we had a life coach come in, help teach our, our junior partners and and leaders at Apollo how the the effect that a positive mindset makes it an impact on your day to day. And if you're, you know, we talk about negative, and I like I can I can already picture yeah. what Marilyn's gonna say. Well, don't even use the word negative, honey. Nope. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> so, you yeah, know, yeah. she she would say something along those lines of, "Well, don't even don't even let negative creep in no, the mind." It's all about mm-hmm. energy. It's, it's about all about energy. the energy and keeping a positive mindset about any and everything that you're doing. So, Absolutely. accept it, embrace it, mm-hmm. and know that things are going to happen that are meant to be challenging. Mm-hmm. Right. So, the sooner that you can accept that and move forward and not and not let the negative creep into your mindset for a long term the more successful you'll be yeah just will be i agree so a hundred percent also i think that going back to what you guys said a little bit earlier um back to the initial call initial um you know meeting when you have report what you have with the individual it's about keeping your word a lot of people get on the phone a lot of agents get on the phone and they say Okay, yeah, no matter what, call me anytime. You know, I'm there for you. I'm available for you. But then they never answer. Then they never pick up the phone. Well, guess what? Mm -hmm. No trust now. Now that trust (laughs) is broken. Mm -hmm. I just, I just, I'm in the hospital now and they're telling me my insurance doesn't work. You told me to call you. Right. Mm -hmm. And you didn't pick up the phone. Right. What does that do to the client? What does that do to the consumer? Mistrust. Right. Trust is mistrust. So you have to stand on your word don't just say mm-hmm. something because it sounds good and it's the mm-hmm. right thing to say mm-hmm. yeah. no when you say call me you hey 
Yep, that when man. they call you, pick up that phone. Yep. Because yep. that's just what it. That's or, the that's the industry we're in. I was gonna say within yeah. a reasonable period. Within a reasonable period. Like, hey, yeah. You yeah, can't, yeah, you can't absolutely. always answer every single. No, call. you cannot. Right. It's hard, but yeah, yeah, when you if you're by your phone, you're not you're not busy. Take pick, take pick up that phone. Yeah. Yep. And if you if if you miss a phone call, I always try and make that phone call or at or at a minimum a text back within Correct. within that same day, it, trying to schedule a time that works best for both of us. And and that honestly, that's crazy. That literally put something in my head as soon as you said that like yeah. that all goes back to trusting your products as well yeah. if you're scared to answer the phone because of a claim it's because you don't have trust in your product mm. there should be no reason that you are scared of a claim yeah, yeah. because you you know your product 100 yeah. percent. you know um and if you did your job and put them on the best plan possible for them there should be no reason why you should be scared of a claim yeah no i you had to trust your product. couldn't agree more and i <clears throat> You know, we at Apollo try and teach that within yeah. agents all yep. the time. Yep. Uh, so if you're an independent agent and you're struggling trusting with clo- with 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 products or claims, or you want more information on this, once again, this is free information that we're providing. Mm-hmm. Uh, we want to be a resource. Uh, we 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 can help you get connected so that you do have these resources for you. Uh, yeah. That's the whole goal of this, right? We want to provide yeah. value. We want to positively impact your life. And how can we do that by positively impacting your life? Uh, you know, keep keep on the good fight from my perspective. Uh, this is challenging. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, this life is meant to be challenging. Mm-hmm. And how can you continue to put one foot in front of the other? Yep. Keeping a positive mindset and making a positive impact. For sure. At the end of the day, that's what we're here to do, right? Yep. Absolutely. I agree 100%. Absolutely. Absolutely. You guys got anything else? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, no. I Man. tell you what, if you guys have anything else, always be be sure to reach out to us. We're here for open yeah. questions yes. and anything that you guys may need from us. That's what we're here for, just to give you guys knowledge, yep. understanding. Mm-hmm. And in this world in this world of insurance, but not only insurance, but just in business in yeah. general. These things Literally. apply to everything. Any yeah. sales job. I mean, that, that that's the biggest thing is if yeah. if you have a sales job and you Sales is negative, yep. Yep. but he embrace that negativity and turn it into positivity. Yep. Yep. I just was talking. I'll, I'll share something with one of our insurance agents uh, last night. Uh, yep. I got my phone up, so I'm reading texts. And they said, I've been uh, a little anxious lately. I won't read everything because a couple of people will know who this is. <laughs> but <laughs> I've been a little anxious lately and uncertain about my future. Income, work, new lifestyle. Just because everything is changing, which is a part of growing up. Mm-hmm. But one of my takeaways was that whatever you face in the weeks ahead, remember that nothing you experience is uncertain. He he was at work in your past. He's here in your present. He holds your future, holds fast to his promises, and trusts that he is good. Mm. Just some words of encouragement. Feels like it relates to the past and future goals because we were talking about his future goals. Mm. And... Uh, he was asking me about the content that we had done on one of our last podcasts. And um, so then I, I told him, I said, that's good with a red heart. I said, you have a, you have an awesome, you have a great head on your shoulders. You're, you're a great man and a strong leader of your house. Mm. And he said, thanks. Thanks brother. That, that does mean a lot. I'm fired up for this year. It's got me ready to rock. Good. And I, what I'm, that's just the epitome yep. of what we all go through in life. Yep. You know, he's he's feeling anxious. He's got some big life changes that are happening this year. Yeah. And uh he's ready, he's ready to go, yeah. you know, and he's mm-hmm. he's using that that positivity to change how he faces forward. I you know, what I what I told him was you can't I said, don't live in the past, but use the past to fuel your future. You mm-hmm. can't control what has happened, but you can control the now. Absolutely. And you can control your future. 100%. So if you're an independent insurance agent, yeah. Health insurance doesn't matter. Uh, you're in sales. Mm-hmm. Remember, you can't control what has happened in the past, but you can use the past to fuel your future. Mm. Absolutely. Uh, so, I, you know. I need a cheers to that. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't think there's anything else. I don't know what else I need to say. <laughs> let's just toast it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Cheers. Well, let's Whiskey do it. for the, the souls. souls and insurance for the wallets. wallets. Appreciate you guys. Until, Until next time. time.